Okay, continuing uh, part four of this. This game is pretty interesting, so we're playing again today. What was going on? So 1300 AD, we're already industrial though, pretty much. I mean, yeah, it's pretty insane tech pace again. It really, like, depends on what happens in the Renaissance and medieval era. Are they trading like crazy or are they at war with each other the whole time? Sometimes you get like DD games where everyone's at war in medieval era. And then you get a slow tech pace that's like the same as an immortal game. But here we've got like, we're on immortal but it's kind of fast. I mean, we're industrial already because not many wars have happened at all really. Only peace vasseling and smaller sieves getting eliminated really quickly. And because of that, yeah, we've got a pretty fast tech pace for this level anyway. Um, oh, for Christ's sake. By the way, they've still got the Monopoly, the rifling. However, stupid Seri's probably going there with his five cities. Yeah, he's got a fifth one here. I think he's got five cities. I don't know. And it's not showing me the full city count because I haven't explored that area. That's okay, though. Um, so we're going to be playing culturally in the late game. Now, we've got the problem with Charlie. Uh, you know, it's probably best to just kill Charlie now really quickly. I'm thinking about it. That's probably the correct move. We're, we're gonna go kill Charlie really quickly. He's got a Soka. Soka's not gonna do shit. But I can't have this thorn in my backside. So I won't be able to flip his cities peacefully. That's not gonna happen. But I'm like 90% sure stupid uh, Jawal is not going for us. He's gonna go for the other dude, uh, Lincoln. So while he's getting ready to fight Lincoln and then finally starts fighting him, he's still got a bombard and everything. While that's all happening, we'll go take out these two. And then see what happens there. I mean, if I can just win culturally while I keep teching, like I've done before, I'll be fine. It's kind of like the safe way to do culture, you know. You're not leaving yourself undefended. It's a more realistic scenario how we're doing this. I think it's fine. I think it's still pretty cool. I still flipped a couple cities. Like that, that, that city is awesome, man. <laughs> that's stole Hermitage. Look at this. He's got a grosser courthouse market coliseum. Holy shit, man. Aqueduct. I didn't build any of that. Walls, castle, barracks, stable. Wow. You see how much crap the AI builds with their 30% discount? It's insane. Um, yeah, anyway. That's going to be the plan, I think. Just check I don't have any more units going that way. Nope, nope. We'll leave one longbow there. That's all we need there. Alright, cool. In fact, put that guy there and that guy there. Keep spreading my beautiful religion around. Okay, what a farm here. And yeah, we got cavalry as well. We should probably start upgrading our guys while we move them over to save as much time as possible. Alright, I probably will use this guy for a golden age. When I get another one. If I get like a priest or something. A prophet rather. He's used for a golden age. This actually is a pretty nice city with the workshops. I like it. Look at that. It's not bad at all. Get this. We don't have revolts in here. That's really nice. Quick madrasa. Actually will pay off quite a bit. It's a nice commerce we have. Madrasa. Because we're creative as well. And then maybe barracks and start building units there. So we gain some more cities. That gives us more production. Which means the wars are going to be easier. This is not really that impressive. If he doesn't have rifles, he's so dead. I'm also getting cannons in a few turns. A bit greedy trying to go for this while I'm in a war, but maybe I should stop actually. Uh, and get like a treble something. I don't know. 
maybe I should stop trying to grow the city too and do this. I need more workshops because workshops are actually better than these stupid mines. Now, the idea is we actually want the cottages in our culture cities because they will give culture when I put the culture side up. It turns your commerce into culture pet turn when you put that up. It'll be important when we go to win the game. Now, this thing's not going to generate any culture later on, so we want to build these cathedrals here. It's got no commerce in it. So we want this one to have all the crap in it. Maybe even build the monasteries for more culture, maybe. It's five culture per turn with all our modifiers. You know, 100 turns later, that's another 500 culture. Save a turn or two. Just trying to think here. Uh, he has muskets, doesn't he? I don't know what I'm going to be fighting. Go that for now. This is not too shabby. Ooh, two turn of trebuchet, I like that. Yeah, okay, oh, he's quick. But we don't have long. We do not have long. Probably do it with trebuchets. He has, there's no castles actually, wow. Uh, actually, hold on, yeah, there is. Just not showing them for some dumb reason. Okay, let's do that. Want to farm that, spread the irrigation there, get another farm in. Nice cruises, Victoria, that's good to see. Doing something with herself. Alright, we'll make another formation guy. I have like three formation guys, I'm pretty sure now. Yeah, we got a few three stars, maybe a pinch. Alright. Uh, upgrade. Bang. Upgrade while we move there. Save as much time as possible. Might think about workshopping like one of these tiles here. Now that the city's like grown pretty high. The workshop on those tiles are really nice. Yield 1-4. Um, just need a couple trebs there and he's going to get absolutely destroyed. Getting steel too. Yeah, I've got a decent amount of trebs. If it, yeah, I mean, it's longbows, but there's a lot of units in there. I want to at least hit them with collateral, but then again, this stupid castle. It's annoying. I'd rather put my beakers into steel, make sure I get that. Lincoln does have a lot of cities. He might not cap straight away, but then again, he's a huge wimp, so... Can't be sure. Just put everyone, like, there rifles up here. Probably want some rifles in there. This city is the most dangerous. Du, 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 du. Two turns away from being there. I should probably just wait for cannons. It'll be so much easier if I wait for cannons. As long as he doesn't get rifling. If he gets rifles, it's probably better just going trebs into longbows. If he doesn't get rifling... She got... No, she didn't get it. Okay. If he doesn't get rifling, it's better just going with the friggin' trebuchets. But, yeah, I don't know. He no replaceable parts means we have at least two turns. Always, no matter what, which is really nice. Let's do that. We're pumping them out here. I'm building trebs because we upgrade them to cannons. No. Yeah, they're not trading replaceable parts. Suri's being a good boy, actually, because he hates everyone. He's not giving them replaceable parts. Really good to see. He's cooperating. 
Yeah. We want to do all our upgrades now, pretty much. There we go. Army of cavalry now, all ready to go. A few rifles to kind of back us up a bit. Let's take this in here. In fact, you're kind of chilling. You can probably do that, right? I wouldn't do that. Bro, come on. Let's at least be intelligent with your decisions. Come on, dude. Uh, another university. Who was going to build that? Did we? We already got the university. Man, I'm actually fast. Let's go. Uh, okay, Oxford in here, I would say. Base commerce is 55. In here, it's... Uh, well, this has the river. This has more grassland cottages. Well, how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's got like 7, maybe 8 towns long term. How about this one? 1, 2, 3, 4... Five. You can kind of count the spices too, so six, seven. Yeah, this one's probably better, especially if I put down a couple more there. Trebs, mainly, I think. Won't even need the trebs though, once I take out these two. Oh, Grenadiers. Okay, we definitely want to wait for cannons. He went Grenadiers, which is good, means he's not going rifling yet. Grenadiers are no problem at all, since I went all the way to Cavalry. It's honestly fine. We've got cannons in one turn, hopefully. I don't listen to anything you say. You're a vassal, you're an idiot. Another Cavalry up here, that's great. I reckon I cram a rifle in there, though. Ah, uh, that's gonna... Yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, we'll get that back reasonably quickly through culture pressure. It'll still take a while, though. I want to put that rifle up there, too. Just build a road for now. That's okay. In here, maybe a cottage, that one. Is that going to cut irrigation? No. Okay. Yeah, look at that poor Bombay. <laughs> It'll be super easy to take the cities anyway. With this culture pressure, it does help us. Get our first attack off and make it be devastating. So it does make sense to wait for rifle, uh, cannons, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, we're getting this here because we want to also look at our long-term goal of culture. We got poison water? No, we're just unhealthy. We need some health stuff. Banana. Cow. Take the cow for now. You want ivory or what? Um, yeah, she took all that back. I'll get up in three turns. It's gonna constantly revolt for a while, though. Okay, that works. Nice. Before that steam drill shall beat me down, I'll die with my Holy shit, dude. I just surrounded that city. Alright, it's going to be pretty good to smash that with cannons. This is why we've been saving our money as well. How many of these guys are actually City Raider 2? Not many, but, well, that's a good thing we got cannons, because City Raider 1 trebs into Grenadiers is pretty rough. Oh, yes, got all of them just about. That's great. Maybe we can get some money off somebody, like this idiot. I don't really want to help him, though. Leave him behind. He can't do shit to us without these two techs. His vassal's gonna get him there eventually, but that's okay. May as well upgrade this. And you're never getting this city either. I think I'll... Look at my culture. This is before the war, by the way. I've just... <laughs> Look at that sad capital, man. I took the food source, his only food source, and like all his floodplains except one from the capital. Yikes. He's gonna lose his capital like next turn. I don't know what the idiots in Bombay are even going to do. I, mean, I could smash them as well. Watch him try to struggle to reinforce. It's going to be funny. More trebuchets. Doesn't hurt either. Nice. He, just, he can't do anything. Look at this city. This city's going to go soon too. I'll let that one flip naturally. Won't even bother attacking that. That's going to flip. 
There's no way he's got enough culture down there. It's pretty fun doing this kind of thing, not gonna lie. Okay, we need one of these in here maybe. Do we though? Yeah, I actually want to build this. This crap. Don't finish Zymath until I have more monasteries. Ah, uh, Trebuchet. I really want to get the temples up and running so I can build all this crap. Like, Mendias, we need these now. Two more Christian temples. Alright, I've got to spread more Christianity. <clears throat> Stop building Trebs and spread religion. That's a pathetic stack. He's going to die. He's 100% going to die. He's losing tiles every turn. And he just lost that. Look at his capital! <laughs> oh, that's a sad capital. And that has wonders in it too, doesn't it? And that, yeah, that's a capital with wonders in it, by the way. Yikes. And Bombay has two wonders in it. And look at that. Alright, well, we're going to pull the trigger. Because he's angry and he's going to attack me if I try to go after Joao anyway. So, can't really be avoided. Better I get the opening hit right. Besides, it's in the wrong religion. We have a rule. We won't attack anyone. I'm going to make a rule anyway right now. That we don't attack anyone in our own religion. As honourable religious people. But these idiots are in the wrong religion. So they die. He switched out of our religion. That's the same as sticking a knife in my back. Ouch. Take more of that defense off. Ah, uh, whatever. This will this will have to do. Only got four cannons, really. I want to hit that now. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, that's fine. I think that's fine. Yeah, we're into pikes now, so... What about the rifle dudes? Yeah. Nowhere near as good as cavalry. Ninety-five. Stupid grenadiers don't stand a chance, man. Cavalry are insane. Uh, best thing is I can go straight to the capital as well from here. <laughs> now I want to see that city revolt because it's not got enough guys in it. <laughs> That would be pretty funny if it just revolted suddenly. We'll actually make some City Raider 3 cannons with that Great General. I think they'll be very useful right here for what we're doing. Yeah, we want to spread Christianity around. That's right. Let's make another one of those. We need some health in here, but I don't think it's worth it. I'll just conquer the resources. Should be better. So we, we got a little bit of luck there, not insanely lucky, but we won our 40% and then we won our 70s and 80s, so pretty good luck. So we only lost one cannon, that's a really good start. Joel's busy, Lincoln's busy, so no one can save him now. And he's gonna... oh, you're funny, aren't you? I'm gonna say we reject. He's probably gonna come after me too. He's not getting that for free, he's insane. Okay, so we have formation guys for this reason, except they're kind of wounded, aren't they? Ah, that's good. Nice. <laughs> I called it! <laughs> I freaking called it, dude. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. So now his freshly whipped musket is dead. <laughs> Man, I could just, like, wait around for the city to flip almost. That would be funny. Now I can just take this, though. I can just take both of them right now. He's got nothing. Oh, that is so funny. Oh, yeah, we can City Raider 3 these guys. Um, it's 20 XP. I can't do many. It should be worth it, especially these ones. I'll just do it to all of them. Like, all of them. Uh, 2 XP to all of them. How many? I got 7. 7... 20 divided by 7 is like 3 on each, so... I could give a bit to the rifles and give them second promotion. Might not be bad. And maybe one of these guys and we'll give all of them just 2 XP. Whoops. Bro. Oh my god. Selection thing? Come on. Uh... 
Yeah, I think I'll do that. So I'm trying to divide the 20 XP between all the units that can get promoted. So now every one of them is going to get two for sure. We'll just do this. I don't know. This guy can be like... Bigger chat. Now all these cannons can promote. Hopefully. Alright, so these ones just bombard since they're wounded. We got a City Raider 3 one here. That should just kick his ass though, right? Well, maybe not. I think we just do the City Raider 2 ones. Oh, we got trebuchets as well, actually. No, the trebs. What the hell? The trebs have like the same odds almost. Oh, maybe not, but not much worse. It's kind of funny. Serial 3 doesn't do much against the longbows because they're only taking 30% off the bonus that the longbow gets, which is only 2 strength, right? When you're hitting a rifle, City Raider 3 not just takes off 30%, you get an extra 10%, and it takes 40% off their 14 base, basically, which is like 6 or 7 strength difference, right? But when it's a longbow, it's only like 2 or 2. It's only a difference of 2 strength. You see what I mean? That's how the odds work, anyway. If you're curious. Can I just, like... Yeah, I can, almost. Um, wondering how to do this without... I think a bit of that, and maybe one cannon like this. Yeah, and now the rifle can just shoot him in the face. There we go. Now this guy. Good. Give this guy some XP. Yeah, he does it. Uh, we gotta deal with this stupid Crusier here, roaming around. I don't have a unit for that though. Oh, wait, yes, I do actually. Oh, maybe not. I'm trying to do this without losing stuff. What about this guy? Mm. Okay, good. Uh, my winded guys can take the city because it's like just catapults. I'm sure Joao's gonna come after us after he did that stupid demand crap. That's okay. That's why I'm teching to rifling and I'm still teching. I know we have to fight. This is not gonna be an easy one for sure. Look at Bombay. <laughs> His empire is just cut in half, man. Oh, that feels bad. Free captures. Statue of Zeus chicken pizza. That's going to help with the war weariness, too. He'll probably get the message in a minute because I'm just kicking his ass so bad now. Did I cut his horses off or his iron? He's got iron up there. How is he getting horses? He must be trading. I was giving him horses, I think. Let's take a look. Uh, Charlemagne. Horse from Ahsoka. Ah, that won't be happening anymore, though, because he just broke free. So all those deals are going to get cancelled, I think. We've got these idiots here. We'll probably just crush them, though. And flank the stupid catapults to death. Now he's taking losses in my territory, by the way. The statues... Although, no, I think I read somewhere... Someone commented that the warriorness is actually by percentage based. Which is funny, because the units in his cities should be giving him bad warriorness that he's losing then, since I have dominant culture in the cities. I don't know. If it actually works like that, that's really funny. Uh, what happened to you? Poisoned water? No, just... I lost my tiles. Ah, because the city flipped over. Okay. I think focus on building for Oxford, then work the cottage after, maybe, is the play. Not sure how I feel about that. It's pretty late to start the cottages. I'm just doing that because that's where I'm building Oxford. We'll need to... Yeah, we sh this war should go pretty quick now that his vassal's already broken free. Just need to clean him up, and then...
honestly just heal up this turn. Look how vulnerable that city is now. But I'll let that flip naturally just for fun. Should be able to clean him up pretty easily and then get a soaker as well. And then, yeah, it's pretty chill after that. I think I'll build this before I get Siameth really quickly. Okay, so I got steel. Do I want to trade steel around to get some stuff? Like, kind of the tech leaders, me and Victoria, we're kicking ass. And Joao's kind of behind. I mean, I could give steel to Lincoln. Is Lincoln doing okay? Lincoln hasn't lost a city yet. But I think he will lose that. I could give him steel to get Siameth right now. If I want to go... I could go for the late game electricity wonders. Get more culture in my cities that way. It's a thought. Uh, because no one's gone physics yet. No one has astronomy even. Oh, he has astronomy. He's probably on physics, that's what he's doing. But I could go all the way to like electricity and stuff. Uh, I think I'll go steam power first and build up. And when I, want, I don't want to give away anything to anyone. We just do our thing. It'll sign peace treaty. He won't surrender just yet though. If I take this one, that's going to be pain in the ass. That one's going to flip. Now that that city's not putting culture on it, the culture per turn in that city's so much less. It's going to flip really quick. Even that sheep is starting to flip. We have insane culture pressure. This is revolting, but it's gaining culture very quickly. So it shouldn't be revolting forever. I want to get a monastery really quick. Just for the culture, even. I wonder if I can just stuff more units in here to kind of relax the revolts a bit. Does that help? It does actually, yeah. It's going down a bit. Okay, I think we just heal for one turn and chill out a bit. Upgrade the last couple units we have to cannons and rifles and stuff. And then we full push. Ah, oh, dude. Stop failing, you idiots. Need to get Christianity around. I have the marble to build the thing with it. Come on, Lincoln. Be strong. I won't surrender yet. I'll have to take some stuff. But okay, we're going to push. Because he can't do anything against cannons and rifles with what he has. The Grenadiers are just useless against cavalry, like they're so useless. You get better luck using an elephant against a cavalry than a Grenadier. <laughs> That's how bad they are. That's a bit unfortunate, the unhappiness in here, but I'd rather stop the revolt. Well, maybe not. Oh, it's pretty bad. Can we get happiness? Do -do 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 -do. Ah, he's going rifling because he demanded that off me and I didn't give it to him. Stupid witch. I need some stuff. The unhealthiness kind of sucks here, but... Not sure there's a whole lot I can do about it. It's because I workshopped that. Well, we can give this guy more hammers and you can just work the culture for now? Like that. Still not enough food. I guess I have to farm this. I don't have a choice. The unhealthiness is kind of hurting there. Uh, let's build the temples in here. So our culture cities can keep building the mandirs and cathedrals and stuff. 34% in here, that's good. Yeah, it's getting engulfed, dude. I'm chomped. I've got culture like behind the city as well and adjacent. Yeah, no, that city's so gone. Lincoln's not dying yet. He's holding up pretty strong. No, shut up. Nearly done healing. Oh, I got the wrong guy, not my medic. I'm retarded. Where is my medic? Wait, where is my medic? Oh, he's in here. 
I thought that was my medic because he has the great general icon. No, that's Giga Chad. Ah, oh, for God's sakes, I'm stupid. That's the medic. No wonder they weren't healing. <laughs> that's only a minor thing. It shouldn't matter too much, but yeah, gotta be careful of that. I leave the pinch gun here to defend against grenadiers. Try that one again. Uh, you can go in here. That's unlucky that revolted again. But okay, I can move one of these units over. Uh, I don't want to upgrade. Alright, I can't build anything else there, so I'll build that. I really want to spread Islam around. In here, maybe, honestly, just run wealth for a little bit. Oxford also gives culture too, plus 10. And 100 beakers will help too. Not a perfect capital, but it's still nice and helps. No, not yet. He's losing cities, I think. Shit. Don't have long. Okay, we brought a ton of cannons here for this, though. Yeah, Lincoln's on his way out. We can join in and try to help our buddy Lincoln. Yeah, I got City Raider 3 ones. They still die to friggin' Longbow. Of course. See, a City Raider 3 doesn't actually do anything against Longbows. Not much more than City Raider 2, anyway. Kind of dead after that though. Oh, I should have attacked the city with Giga Chad, but we have the medic somewhere here, don't we? Oh, I don't know if he can reach the city though. Nah, no, shit. Ah, oh, well. No, it's okay. How much on this city? Just kill a couple units in there. Three star guy versus stupid longbow. Yeah. And his axeman. Kill them off just for the war success. You're screwed, buddy. Admit defeat. Rifling is just insane when you're fighting people that don't have rifling. They just fall over regardless. It's always like the deciding factor in a lot of wars in this game. Is nothing special. This should do it though. Be surprised if he doesn't just cap now. Yeah. I haven't done anything to Ahsoka, so he's not actually going to cap yet. Here. Grenadiers and a lot of queries. Pick off a couple units, maybe. Let's start sending our cannons down there. I think I got one turn before the culture fixes and we go in next turn, or it might fix next turn. I don't know. It's pretty random. Now that's going to flip now, eventually. Yeah, I need his lamb in there. Something for that city to do. 
probably start sending my guys over this way. I think it's inevitable that we fight Joao. Okay, Temple. Academy, maybe not in there though. Oh, we've got Taoism too, nice. More religions, more culture. Think I have that already? Yeah, I don't need that. Yeah, culture didn't fix yet, nice. Just go in there. Take Tiwanaku. I mean, that's kind of interesting. I can just basically choose how I want to win the game at this point. I'm in such a strong position. I can choose to go culture. I could win space. I could win conquest. I can just win however I want. But the religion economy was pretty good. It took a while to kick in, but once we got that shrine up, like I've been running my slider like 100% the whole game. It's actually crazy how much that's helped. Okay, now that I think about it, I should probably look into building this stuff. I mean, it's not that much, but it's just nice constant money. But more importantly, we need to build a Mandia. Well, we can put some turns into Grocer. The food would be nice for this city. Uh, Academy here. Yeah, let's go ahead. I want the copper, but that's going to take a while still. I think we just build that now, whatever. How's this one doing? 129 turns until we win. Now, if we put this up, it should be a lot less as well. 117. And this one's like 109. And this one's only 51 away. That one's got insane culture. Medina. We got the Levy up in some of these spots. Well, it won't be up in these two cities, but whatever. Get to infantry at least, and then... I don't know. We have a monster with a lot of cities and a vassal, though, that's probably going to attack us inevitably, so we're not turning off our research just to try to win culture. He will attack us, and if we can't defend ourselves because he has infantry and only have rifles, it's going to be a problem. I could take the worker, not really worth it, though. We basically just want to build temples and stuff and spread religions around. Here we can spread Buddhism around a bit more maybe into our cities here so we can get another religions going. Stupa is copper as well. We got this copper coming here pretty soon. I need this city. To, oh, here we go. We need this city to get to, let's see, uh, 10, 100, 500, 500 culture. And then Bombay will start flipping that as well. 30 per turn, that's only like 15 turns as it is, and it's going to be even more when I build some crap in here. I think we build the temple though, and the mon yeah, monastery would be really nice before we get Simeth. I don't know how I'm going to get that quickly though. Maybe work that one. I'm not too sure. I want the hammers so I can build the stuff. Actually, creative theater is really quick. Get the theater. Well, it's only six culture. This one's like 15 culture, 12, 14 on this. I think this one is the way to go. You work the freaking mines and try to get it quickly. More important than the commerce right now. This one's about to come online. I think we've got culture here too. Joel's still ahead of me too. He's a big boy. Oh, he's got copper, actually. Take it now. That helps. No. Yeah. The AI have been fast teching this game, but their attack stacks have been pretty tame. Probably do another one of these. I think I have enough temples. I don't think I need to build that in any of the cities. Oh, I'm trying to build it here, but I'm already doing that, so that should be fine. I have not built one in here, but this city's the least of my concerns. We're kind of flipping places with each other. Okay. 
perception on sex. I don't have city radar three ones, but it should be fine. It's not too much in there, like, Curious can't do anything on defense. Where's Giga Chad? What the hell's he doing? I think he's here healing, yeah. Three cities, what are you gonna do, dude? Nice music, man. <laughs> Funky. Ah, uh, we got steam power. I can't get assembly line yet because I don't have corporation. What do I want to go for? I have a nice tech leader here, too. Then I'll just chill out for a bit and go for my culture win, honestly. Don't really need anything, and I can just trade to get stuff with my vassals too. They're pretty far behind, so can probably just go for culture. And if I need infantry, or I feel like he's going to be a problem, then I can go for infantry. But now I think we just chill out and focus on our culture gaming. We send our army over there to suppress the revolts. This side of the map can't hurt us at all anymore, so that threat's kind of neutralized. Don't want Simeth yet, we're still using the monasteries, so we don't turn up the slider, we just chill out a bit. I'd like to get the electricity wonders, but I think it's faster if I just don't research at all. So, who knows, I might be able to just win really quickly like this. It's a hundred turns currently, but it should be a lot less when I build all this crap. We need Islamic temples and Hindu temples, so come on guys, let's get going. Oh, why would you put that there? I need to be building... I need to spread the religions around, essentially. Um, yeah. Oh, we can get a levy in here. I want these missionaries a bit faster, so let's do that. This should be good to win from this position, though. We might have one more war. Um, we should... Can probably just defend with cannons and cavalry, even if he has infantry, though, to be honest. Because I'm so powerful now and I have an army. And cannons and cavalry are fine against infantry. Just slowly stack up a nice army for it. Yeah, I would have liked to not attack Charlie, but he switched out my religion, dude. What am I supposed to do? That's a crime he can't get away with. If you got nothing better to do, build missionaries. That's why I have to stay in organized religion too, to build the missionaries. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't switch out of that, it's helping me a lot right now. I could win probably with that right now, although maybe not. I think i just go none on that though, let's win by culture. Can I get anything useful off these idiots? Replaceable parts. Now look at this. Jamal got replaceable parts, okay. No one has steam power. No one has rifling. Oh, Suri got rifling. Wow, what a giga chad. Uh, it's not really gonna do much. Uh, the Civic would be nice, and I can switch into that in my Golden Age, so maybe. Thinking of going to Communism, it's not really gonna help me. This might be better, actually, because Trade Routes is Commerce, and Commerce is Culture, so... The more you know. Compound interest is the most powerful force in the universe. Could give that back. Actually, you might get this copper though. Why is there a copper here and a copper here, but none in my entire territory? Like, what the hell, man? I need my army in here for a while anyway. 
Yeah, I'll do that in a golden age in four turns, hopefully. This city really needs some production. It's just working cottages. I might workshop a couple tiles there. I don't know why I'm building a harbour. I guess for the health. That's such a waste. Whatever, just do it for now. Halfway through it already. Yeah, spread, spread, spread. So we put that one... Oh, I don't even have it in here. What the hell am I doing with my life? We need Hindu in here now. Okay, I need workers... Over here. Lincoln's kind of dead, yeah. They make peace? Oh no, he just can't plot on anybody because there's only me and Lincoln left and he's already at war with Lincoln, so... Plotting's not actually going to show up even. How about that? Anyway, yeah, we just spread this stuff around. Good. How's the revolts here? Pretty much gone already. That's nice. Alright, any more temples we want to build here? No, so we just make missionaries of the religions we don't have too much of. Here we can build temples, let's do that. Here we need Buddhism and Christianity in here, but we can spread these two around. Let's look at the shrine income. 41, dude. Hell yeah. This one's starting to do stuff too. Gross is giving me some money now actually because I don't have my slider up full anymore because I have a lot of maintenance to pay. Right, I think a levy here makes sense. When I run culture in the city it'll give me more too. It'll help me build all that stuff a bit faster. Confucianism temple first for the hammers. Here we want to workshop some of this crappy stuff to be honest. Actually get some hammers. Uh, Hindu is needed... No, wait, where is Hindu needed? They are. Buddhism in here, nice. Guys, help that. You can go in there. I don't think there will be anywhere past infantry in 100 turns, or it won't even be 100 turns, it's gonna be less um, when I win. Should be less. Why are we building a cannon? Because we're waiting for this crap. We need a Hindu temple. Who the hell's building a Hindu temple? Not you, apparently. Oh, we need a Hindu temple here. Okay. Spread Islam as well. Yeah, it's probably worth workshopping some of this crap to build buildings more. Our danger is Jawal, so we watch Jawal. Two neighbors are kind of dealt with already. I honestly think we just stagnate like this at this point in here. Stop building freaking cannons. Oh, if you've got nothing better to do, build culture. You know, I built a freaking heroic epic in here just for culture. Four culture per turn's not nothing. Yeah, 12 in total. It's not bad at all. Okay, we need Islam in here. Another Islamic missionary spreading that like crazy. Makes sense, because we're Arabic. Here we go. I want to save this for the culture bomb though. And use another guy for golden age. I'm only going to do one more golden age anyway, so... Or I could switch into pacifism. I don't want to do that yet though, so it makes sense. We'll go pacifism when we're ready to go full on... Culture all the way to the end. You can build stuff in here too, I'm pretty sure. Not a stupa, but missionary. Who can build a stupa? You can build a stupa, but you got to build the temples first. That's important too. We need Buddhism here, actually, really badly. Shit. Uh, who has... Okay, you're building stuff. Christian temple, that's fine. Yeah, there's a lot to manage, man. We've got so many religions. So many cities. It's chaotic. Uh, you... We send a missionary there. Put you there, then. We really need Buddhism, though. Uh, already building three Buddhist missionaries, apparently. 
I think I want it here first. Yeah, I need something to build in there. Okay. Maybe just a workshop here would be better. Than a farm if I'm running a priest like that, like an idiot. Good, 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 good. Nice RNG that turn. Uh, maybe Christianity, Hinduism for sure here, one of those would help. I uh, just get the levy first, it's too good. He's probably planning to kill me. Oh, we don't know, we won't be able to know now. Oh, we got it here. Okay, cool. Just keep going with that then. Make one of these, or oh, we need this. Okay, so we can build that in here now, and we can build a stupa in here. We've got to speed up these two cities is the idea. But we should get a before 1800 AD if we play it right. If we do a decent job at spreading everything around and all. Yeah, that's pretty okay in here. This city has a lot of commerce. This might get a lot of culture, actually. Just because of my commerce. Commerce is just giving me 76 per turn in here. It's crazy. You go there. Ah, oh, I failed. God dang it. Okay. We need temples in here. Don't need temples here, so... More Islam. Hindu. Okay, we got the stupa coming. Can we get that faster? No, not really. Okay. That's fine. maybe Buddhism there too When I'm done with it, I can just start building units again to fight. Just need cavalry and cannons, really. Uh, make the... We don't have a stable here, so you make cannon here. He does have a stable, so you make cavalry here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Efficiency. So Medina might be getting another dude. We never built National Epic, did we? Or did we? I think I did build that somewhere. In the capital, maybe. I don't know. Okay, it should be a lot less when I build the last two of these buildings, or a little bit less anyway. We're going to culture bomb it as well, so keep that in mind. Why are you working an engineer, man, when... No, 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 you do that, dude. we got to build, 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 build. What about you? You're fine. What about you? You're okay. got to watch these guys, man. I have a feeling I'm going to get attacked in a minute. That's going to flip too. Now there's the culture going here. It's going to take a while. But we'll, we'll get there. Me revolting here? No. What if I take out the cavalry? No, no revolts. Nice. Maybe he doesn't know. He will have culture on the city, surely. I'm just providing a good amount as well. Still no revolts. Weird. Hmm. Dunno. That's because I got my border pops already. Yeah, 
Yeah, this seems fine for now. Another temple. Can't make any temples here, so... Finish that barracks off here. One of these in here would be kind of nice. I'll just check if I need it in the three big cities first. Yes, we need it here. Yeah, I still got a lot to build. Golden Age would kind of be nice to build everything a bit quicker. Can kind of see why we're running the dudes here. Ideally, we get all three to finish in 41 turns, although it probably won't be that fortunate. Oh, the Levies just made that city insane. Oh, here we go. Yes. <laughs> I could be a bastard with the AP. Where's Agra? Oh, this one. Yes. <laughs> I don't think he can defy that as my vassal. I might be wrong, though. We'll see, I guess. Here we go. I can be a complete bastard with the AP. Hell yeah. Perks of religion economy. I only do that because of my culture pressure is greater than 50% on the city. You can only do that in that circumstance. So the culture thing is helping me that way too. Uh, we can get a bit more culture if we build the monasteries. Does, do we really want to bother with that? I mean, why not? The economy is doing better too. This thing I... He never got rifling. He's going assembly line though. I'm probably going to get attacked. Victoria's going to have rifles anyway. Oh, they all voted no, the freaking bastards. Whatever, it's going to revolt on its own anyway. Hmm. Okay, this is going to help a lot when we build this crap in here. Alright, what about here? We build one of these here before this crap, to be honest. We already have the Confucian one in here. Yeah, we need more shit here. Build the Christian one, because I already have a Christian one in here. Lincoln's... Wait, they made peace, but he didn't vassal? Yeah, there's no declare war option, so he could be just going for me now. It's probably like, I'm sick of this war, I'm gonna go attack Henrik because I am a bastard and he didn't give me replaceable parts. Aha! We're gonna passively stack up our units over here and get ready for that because I reckon it's coming. Not turning off our brains here or anything like that, that's for sure. Just need to smash him with cannons and cavalry. That'll take care of him regardless what he has there. Can make macemen in here. Oh, he's got a specialist settled here. That's nice. Make better cannons. I wouldn't mind building like a stupa or something here to help the culture, but I think it'll be fine long term. Here. More missionaries, maybe. More money. Okay, so we've got more stuff being built that's going to speed up our culture date. How long are we looking at? Here we are. 98 turns. 98 turns. Okay, less than 100 now. Gonna get faster in two turns as well. Waiting on this city. We can also great artist bomb it, which we probably will do. Shut up. Yeah, Jamal has double our power. He's probably coming for us. I am building units anyway, so it'll be fine. Just need the temples, really. Uh, what is he researching? Nothing big yet. Okay, well, we've got steam power and steel. I can probably just trade that away because he's the only one that's threatening. Uh, getting this crap is gonna be a pain. If I. What about astronomy? I don't really care about monuments that much. Wow, really? Freaking astronomy. What the hell, really? Probably the only one with it, that's why. 
Oh, but I can do that. Uh, I don't think I'm building more monasteries. Yeah, it should be fine, whatever. Okay, I'm ready to freaking get that if I need it. If he starts kicking my vassal's ass and my army's not enough, then we just attack that really quickly and we'll be fine. I have all these cavalry sitting around anyway. I don't know why, but this is not revolting, so I can move all these units off. Hmm. And here. That side is completely safe, so... Any units he might have in my vassal's territory will get booted out anyway if he declares on me. I have a feeling it's coming. Alright, what's the deal here? 89 turns. Okay, let's keep building. Put that in there. Put that in there. Build that here. Build that there. Is, yeah, I obsoleted Great Library. That slowed down the Great Person pumpage a bit. Maybe I should really be focusing on that. Honestly, just do this. Well, no, we don't need to rush it. The city's going to get there no matter what, so... Whichever specialist helps us the most, I don't really care. Something like that. Okay, 68 turns. 78 turns? Okay, it's getting better. It's getting better. Should get it in the 1700s if we do it right. Still got one more to build in here, and we still got to build the Islamic one in here too. It's happening. That piece of crap city is going to be a legendary culture city, yeah? No food source, and it's coming a long way in the end, so pretty cool stuff. How many friggin' shrines have I got? Look, at, Let's see, 28 on the Buddhism shrine? I must be making so much money right now from all this crap. Uh, religious shrines, 101 gold per turn. That's pretty spicy. <laughs> Okay, we want to put like workshops on those tiles. A big army here, ready to smash him if he tries anything. And we're going to keep stacking it up, making it bigger and bigger too. I don't know why it would work. Engineer instead of that. Please work the appropriate tiles. They're good tiles. Build some stuff in here. We can make units in here. I don't know what, but build a bit of everything. Levy in here, finally get some production, although this is probably still better first. Well, maybe not actually. Alright, Academy here. Yeah, that city's almost legendary. 77 on this one. turns. It doesn't really speed it up a whole lot. I'd rather do that in there. What's going on here? Yeah, okay, do whatever. Three turns on this. Then we're pretty much done with that stuff. It's not gonna be 400 per turn, which is not bad at all. We'll get there. They are starting to get techs now. I don't know, he might attack me with infantry or artillery. He went to artillery? No. He hasn't gone anything yet. I think he's still backfilling. I think he got rifling, finally, yeah. Makes sense. Can I build any more here? Yes, I need more stupid thingies though for that. Okay, we need Islamic temples quickly. Who can also build Islam? Uh, need a couple more. What am I missing? 
It won't tell me because I'm building it in there, which is kind of stupid, but I need an Islamic temple or two. Uh, I might have to build it here too. Oh, we got one in there in two turns. That's good. Yeah, I might not have enough Islam, actually. Uh, can we do something about that? Buddhism won't help us right now. More Islamic stuff spread around. Already got it in here. Oh, no. Uh, Bombay, actually. Bombay already has one. Hmm. Weird. Is this revolting or what? Yeah, it is. Only barely, though. It's interesting. Yeah, it's like four units is enough to stop it somehow. Yeah, apparently so, okay. Yeah, he's going assembly line. By the time he gets there and actually, like, develops his stuff, though, I don't know, man, he's run out of time. That's not worth building. Globe Theatre has six culture on it. That's 24 per turn. And running culture itself is only 30 per turn, so it makes sense to build this. Pretty sure about that. Islam goes in here. Ah. Oh. Uh, yeah, I still can't build that. That's lame as hell. Okay. Because I just failed to spread it. We just built it in there, but I still don't have enough Islam. Okay, I messed that up. That's going to slow me down a bit. But we'll build the Globe Theatre meanwhile anyway for more culture. Just build units in here, to be honest. We're trying to get a Golden Age anyway. And work all the tiles after that. Oh, we can build one here, actually, really quickly. Nice. Can we get that in one? Maybe? Get close, actually. Oh, that's so close, man. Hang on a minute. Yes! Okay. That might be the last one I need. That's what I wanted to do. Perfect, we actually got it. No, you need to work the cottage because that's a culture technically. Long term. Right. Now oh, for Christ's sake, come on. I think we'll just do that in here. Get it a bit faster. 46 turns in here. Okay, that's pretty good. Build units everywhere else, of course, to fight. How long in here? 63. We're kind of getting there. I think I... Yeah, I'll get it before 1800 AD. Surely. Oh, Does it go up by 5 in 1700s? I think it might. How many? We're 42 turns away from 1800 AD. I guess we'll see. That's a good date to aim for anyway. It's probably better. It's not going to matter actually. Oops. I don't know. Just build missionaries in here. What else are you going to do with yourself, dude? Send me. Just build everything. Spread them around. Why not? Taoism. Could spread that around, actually. Actually. Forgot about Taoism. That would be good to spread around, because I don't have it in any of my three cities, so I can speed my wind date up more potentially by spreading that around. He's getting infantry. I don't know when he's going to come at me, but we'll see. 
just have to be ready. And that's how you win a culture victory, you know, you build units. Uh, that's how you win it if you're not guaranteed safety. You just have to be a little wary and build some units to defend. Much, much easier to defend than attack. That's for sure. We're still building our army up. Don't think his stack will be more than 40, 50 units. I'm kind of getting ready for that. Twenty-eight turns in here, sixty-one in it. Yeah, this one's kind of lagging. Ah, uh, it's annoying that it's so slow. This one's going pretty fast now. Oh, we're getting another building. Okay, Taoism. Yeah. Spread that in all our major cities and then build the appropriate building for it. Wow, didn't even have that in Medina. Are you serious? I'm a chimp. Literally a chimp. God bless the auto spread. That's too much to keep track of, really. I have so many religions. Where's the Dow, bro? I'm ready for it. Automate these guys. Ah, uh, Christian and Buddhist, Hindu, maybe. Or are these for sure? Uh, really quickly, let's do one of those here. We'll need to do that in here too. No globe theatre, we focus on the religion crap first, I think. It's better. Alright, see if that 50 turns goes down. 59, yeah, I went from 59 to 52, that's nice. Shaving quite a few turns off, so we do that with Taoism, that's another 7 turns saved. Here we go. This will help spread it around and build all this crap quicker as well. It's really nice. Put it in here, maybe. Just automate these guys. I really can't be bothered microing. I've done most of the micro that matters. So we can kind of just chill out a bit. Failed. Okay. I want to build the Taoist Pagoda here first. That one's the lagging city. The other city can just chill out. Islam. Just auto spread, honestly. Islam. Keep building that though. Okay, so we failed to spread it here. We'll try again next turn and see. Uh, we can build this now. Let's do that. In two turns, I'll be able to build the Taoist Pagoda. In here, we do that. We try again in here next turn. Canon. Buddhism can go wherever. Hindu can go wherever. You can go wherever, there we go. Islam. Sure, why not? Maybe ironworks in here is not a bad idea, yeah dude. I uh, kinda agree to that. Alright, pagoda but not in there. Just keep spreading that around. Uh, culture in here, some sort, yeah, sure. Uh, we build this in here. There we go, that's what we want. Four turns, that's nice. Oh, I forgot about this. Well, I'm only one turn late. I think I stay in organized religion for now. We're still building culture stuff. Yeah, see that gave me 21 extra culture, so it's an extra plus one culture per turn. With modifiers, that adds up, you know, three or four culture per turn for free. 49 turns, here we go. 48 turns. If I get a couple more great artists, it's going pretty fast. Failed again. Oh man. He's getting stronger. <laughs> Bastard.
No, stop failing Taoism, I need that. Oh, they're failing, that was a horrible turn, so many fails. I can still build this though, that's cool. Nice. 18 turns for this city, 700 per turn, I'm not even trying in there. That's insane, it's just because of the wonders give a crazy amount of base culture, which then gets affected by all the multipliers. It's kind of insane. And yeah, if I get attacked and it looks difficult, we just tech infantry. Which I can do in a decent time frame, by the way. If you haven't noticed, see? And then we'll be fine, because he's got to get through my vassal first. So the vassal serves as a nice shield. Keep us rolling here a bit. Anyway, let's try and build these as quickly as possible. That's important. We want to great artist that thing as well, if we can. So I'd like to go into pacifism very soon to try and squeeze out some artists. Chances are not great because I've got so much pollution in my great person pool, but you never know, man. I don't know what to do with this place. Is that that still hasn't flipped yet? What the hell, dude? Just give it up. Give me your city, you bastard. 63%. He's crammed units in there. Friggin' prick. But it's fine, because I got that copper. <laughs> Sure, don't need that anymore. Building there, that will flip the city that way and also put pressure on Cuzco. <laughs> uh, any extra health would kind of be nice, right? They've started teching some stuff. It's not too bad yet. I might have missed my chance to get some crap here, but whatever. Oh, wheat. I need wheat. Don't know how you got wheat, but I'll take it. Give you two things for it. Um, clam, whale, fish, sheep. Okay. What are you even doing here? This... this... Kinda need like factories or something at this point. Oh! Yeah, but it just slows the date down. Alright, six turns for the Globe Theatre. That's the last one I want to build. I think I'd go into pacifism now though, maybe well, next turn then. So kind of done spreading religions around. Yeah, whatever, dude. Privateers. Ah, yes, they do this every time I try to go for culture. It's kind of funny, isn't it? And deal with that, though. Every time I play a peaceful game, I always get privateered. Of course, gonna be bastards, Lincoln. Man, Lincoln is so puny, I could just kill him myself. <laughs> he doesn't even have rifling. Wait a second, what the hell? <laughs> Wait a second, he's just a sitting duck, dude. What the hell? Alright, we're bored. Let's go kill somebody, guys. That's what you get for privateering me. I know it's you doing that. What are these jokers doing here? Yeah, Victoria's rifle is going to go mess him up too. Go fork attack him. 
threaten both cities simultaneously. Just realized how weak and easy he is. No rifling and he didn't get vassaled. What the hell was that? Nah, and I'm doing that because he's privateering me. Alright, well this is going to be expensive. Is it worth it? Yeah, probably is. If I can get another... Pop another artist out. Where the hell's Baghdad? Where the hell is Baghdad? Oh, this one. Oh, I see. I can try getting an artist. Maybe get the privateer or the ironclad first really quickly though. Who's going to be next? You, probably. Yeah, my chances of artists are pretty yikes. We can try though. Uh, definitely run these guys though. Is that more hammers? It probably is, isn't it? You and your wimpy self are going to get your ass kicked now. Let's have a look here. Uh, it's going to hurt a bit. Yeah, well. What can you do? Alright, nice. Didn't even kill my wounded guy sitting here. It's pretty helpless. He's not a good leader of the Didi Dozers. Gilgamesh is much better, that's for sure. He's kind of getting Didi Dozered. And I get the capitulation. Perfect. <laughs> that was easy. I don't know why he did not vassal to Jawal. I do not know why. Jawal kicked the shit out of him. It's just one of those rare cases, I guess. Because that usually happens to me as well. It's like, you get them down to five cities, nothing happens. They still don't capitulate. Oh, the tides have turned for once. It's kind of nice. Did I get legendary culture yet? I don't even know. Uh, build this crap in here. He'll probably definitely come for me. I don't know what he's doing, but... Globe Theater. Still got the stupid privateer though. Didn't learn his lesson. Not sure what Joel's doing. He's got too many points. No, he doesn't. I've got more points. I've got railroad and infantry. Okay. Everyone can just go home and just leave that city there. Whatever, I don't care about it. But I have a nice army here to smash. Anyone who tries to be a bastard. How long are we? 33 turns. Yeah? Just one, one artist. Get it before 1800 AD. That's the goal here. Do just do whatever. No one cares. Alright. Prick. Get out of here. Where's his army? Where is it actually? Haha, <laughs> where is it? He might just be chilling in his capital. He might not actually be plotting. Who knows? Yeah, well that's enough of that crap. Buddy. One turn the units in here. This city's insane.
Joao's getting lib, boys. It's a bit late. Yeah, he got locked out of trades because people didn't like him. So he's having to self-tech everything. It's kind of cool. Cool for me. Got an army of ships in there. He must be here. Uh, I'm sure you got more than that, dude. I definitely saw more of that in the medieval era. I wonder where you are, punk. <laughs> where is the little bastard? Not there. Not there. 56 units. Yeah, we just keep building more. Blast him to death with cannons. Can do culture on Didi, but it's very tricky. You gotta re-roll the map and have the right kind of thing going on, like even more than I did on this. But we just need to it's very limited the way you can play it. Here I'm being a lot more flexible. I can win the game any way I want, really, here, because I'm just so powerful. I became so powerful even though I had six cities. I guess the first war went well. But we also had a nice religion economy going, so yeah. Beyond Didi, you know, they you got to get the Sistine really quick and stuff like that, or you've got no shot at culture if you don't get Sistine. Even if you get Sistine, it's not a guarantee. They can still win culture themselves very early if they build all the other wonders and just have a ton of wonders. I think I pulled it off on that Hatshepsut game. I think it was Didi 40 I did a culture game. My first ever Didi culture game. Or win recorded, so... If you want to see it done on DD, watch that. That was a good game, but you can see I had to like select the specific settings and stuff. Had to not get attacked the whole game. Freaking butt clench moment when somebody plotting on my border and yeah, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I won't spoil that. Uh, but we're just chill out now. Maybe I should just run wealth and put this up more. That might actually be smarter. Let's be honest, how long? 22 in here. You know what, I might want to run culture in here, because if I pop a great artist, this one will actually be first, and this one. Also, yeah, just run wealth so I can run the slider higher, seems smart. Well, I don't think I'm getting another golden age. Can we get this faster? Yes, let's do that for one turn. Send that guy in there. Actually, I think I get it now, regardless. Yep, thanks to that guy. Cool. I don't know where his army is or what he's up to. He has an army somewhere, I know that. No, it might be in Ceres capital, suppressing revolts or whatever. Wherever he took off... Sorry, I don't know. That one. What did he take? It's just a huge bastard. Oh no, he took these ones, didn't he? Might be in those cities. Pretty sure I checked that. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Oh, we'll find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, culture now. And you do wealth. Here we go. 100% on the slider. This is 26 turns. Nice. Now we can probably just start starving in here. Try and get it a bit faster. What's that? No, 11 turns is a bit too much. I think that's the best we can do. Would not mind more artists though. Medina. Medina's getting... Oh shit, forgot to change this. Shit! Try and get an artist. Come on, give me an artist. Pop an artist, bro, you can do it. 
Should have done that earlier. This is not the best micro. I don't know, is he even trying to fight or is he just trying to win culture or something? He's annoyed, but seems too afraid to do anything. Maybe I can just attack him for fun. Uh, you're funny. Zero point five of his power. I mean, that's not bad. That's enough to defend, especially with this stack I have here. That'll wallop him. Pentagon, of course. He's going physics. He's not getting any trades though because no one likes him. He's having to self-tech all this crap by himself. If physics, you know, people had physics 400 years ago or what is that, like 60 turns ago, people already had physics. The tech pace has not moved much at all. That's usually the case. I mean, stupid Lincoln still doesn't have replaceable parts. Look at this crap. It's like barely moved. No one's got industrialism yet. We went from really fast renaissance pace where everyone was trading like crazy just to this super slow, basically no tech trading pace, essentially. And he's not teching that fast. I don't know why, maybe he's paying a lot of maintenance. Oh, what is his tech rate? No, he's doing okay, but it's nothing special. Like three turning fascism. You gotta count the turn it takes for them to change what tech they pick as well. All right, 21 turns. Might get it by 7, 1800, I don't know. It depends if I pop an artist or not. How about, oh yes! And Mecca is 14. All right, so Nudrun might be first now. We just run wealth so we can maintain 100%. 14 turns. All right, so we win in 14 turns, basically. Jamal's not going to stop that. We might as well just go int into him and declare war for fun. Why not? Want to see some rifle versus infantry action? Let's go, boys. Sorry, I actually had a big stack too. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm bored. Screw it. Let's go. Why not? Have some fun. Uh, let's make sure this one's going as fast as it can. Starve it a bit. Duh, duh, duh. This is probably better too. You could just run full friggin' thing here. I wonder if that's worth it. Probably not. It'll just starve down and lose all those specialists. Can we get it any faster? Like 12? Almost. I reckon I can do some shit on the last turn and run all artists. Let's have some fights, because I'm friggin' bored. I want to use this big stack I built. Alright, we'll let the stupid idiots fight it out a little bit. I'm just gonna like chill up here. And then we can go smash that city. We're, all, we're almost to assembly line, boys. It's fine. <laughs> Who's running wealth? Yeah, you two keep up the culture. Okay. What the hell? Bullshit. That's actually bullshit. I have formation. 31% there. Funny. I don't see a big army, dude. But wait a little bit. Oh, that city might die. My vassals aren't... Oh, maybe his army was up there, actually. Hmm. Oh, yellow. Doesn't even matter if we die. Destroy the infidels! They're in the wrong religion! Sorry, bro, I don't want to hurt you. You're my friend, my religious friend, but you're in the wrong religion. No, you're in the right religion, but you're in the wrong friggin' vassal. 
Am I gonna get blasted? No, I'm not. He's trying to defend. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> not with this many cannons. Oh my god, the lag. See how far we can get with this big stack. Uh, if Seri flanks me though, we're in trouble. What the hell? Oh, nice. Oh, man. Oh my god, dude. Our freaking cannons are clapping infantry. Wow. <laughs> Why are my cannons doing better against infantry? than they did against a healed longbow. Would you like to tell me that? <laughs> what is this game, man? The longbow did better than the infantry. <laughs> it's not even that much difference in the odds I just had as well, by the way. Like, what the hell? I think it was like 30% against the longbow as well. That's insane that a healed longbow is stronger than a flatland infantry. That's actually just insane. Holy shit. Wow. I can't believe. Though the healed longbow is stronger than a freaking infantry. Alright. Well, that's that. Lag, lag, lag. Oh my god. Let's get in there. He might hit us and keep our stacks together. Alright, we're gonna get smashed by Seri at some point. I have to watch out for that. <clears throat> Ouch! Oh my god, he smashed me. Oh, damn. Okay, well, 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 we're kind of dead now. <laughs> he was ready for it. Alright, that's a lot of units. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Alright, fair enough. Uh, do we want to sign peace, bro? No? Okay, we're kind of dead then. Alright, whatever. What the hell? Did I just win? Alright, cool. 5%. Yeah, that didn't really work. He was just waiting there. I thought he would have moved his big stack somewhere. There it is. He does have a stack, guys. Right, well, in that case, we're kind of dead, so I'm just gonna raise that, and we're gonna run away! Ah, there's Suri, we found him. Now, I wish I kept the road, to be honest. Oh, that's kind of a pathetic stack, actually. Well, can anyone else run away? No. Yeah, we're kind of dead there. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. Hey, I can vote stop the war. Let's go. So you can do all kinds of bullshit to get out of this. Yeah, I'm just being an idiot now. I'm not actually playing properly, but... It's fine. We win in, like, I don't know how many turns. Less than ten, right? Yeah, eight turns. Nadran! We need to speed this up, if we can. Might be able to, I don't know. <clears throat> Ahsoka! No, it's not Ahsoka. Charlemagne, defend me again- Ow! My ears! Hey, stop the war, let's go! <laughs> oh, that's funny. I just yellowed in because I wanted to do some fighting before the game ended. Well, we saw some interesting things. We saw our cannons destroy infantry and we saw a massive stack smash us. So that is why I usually want to wait a few turns. That's exactly why. Learning experience for people not to actually just charge in. And if I was playing properly, I would have waited until I saw the friggin' stack emerge. Because they will have a stack, especially when they conquer the world like that. 
Oh, there you go, it's like 50 units as we expected. Anyway, it's fine, we're like win, basically, in five turns. Ah, yeah, sure, dude. Still getting text here, because I'm like one of the only ones with assembly lines still. Victoria doesn't even have steam power yet for some reason. Really? That's bullshit. Oh, she's researching that, that's why. Okay, fair enough. If they got infantry, that's exactly why. You, you wait for them, you wipe the infantry out, then, you know, you have your stack still and you're fine. But he got the first hit, that's just death. Anyway, it's like, I don't know, three turns away? We're gonna get it before 1800 AD, actually. That's the plan. What the hell happened in here? Why are we dying in here? Poisoned water, I see. And that lovely apostolic palace defended me. It's all good, we didn't lose any cities. Okay, so three turns. Can we get that any faster? Uh, no, I think three turns is actually like barely getting it, so. There you go. Two turns. Just gonna fast forward it. There we go. Hey, got a pretty decent date in the end. There you go. So we've got a lot of really useful early wonders and mid-game wonders that made this a lot smoother and you know when I've got like Spar Minaret and Captured Sankor and all that that kind of kept us going and guaranteed us like safety into the late game because that really made a nice snowball and gave us really strong economy like we were 500 beakers per turn with like eight cities before Oxford was even built you know so I had potential to just win the game with tanks at that point if I didn't want to go for culture Obviously, I could have just built a bunch of infantry, gone factories with like 50 turns earlier and smashed a while, but whatever, that was an interesting way to end it. Okay, this music is so loud, holy shit. Um, these are the wonders. Yeah, we got a lot of early game wonders. So we've got the Oracle, that was a nice start. Oracling a religion in that border city, if you remember. And that gave constant culture pressure the whole game. And that city was really nice. We built so much stuff in there. But that was like the heart of the empire, that uh, Medina city. It was really cool. You see here all the stuff we built in Medina. We built Sistine, Great Library, Parthenon, Versailles. All this stuff. With then with free speech coming out. There's no way he could defend himself against that much culture. That was really, really cool. I like that opening on the game anyway, I think that was the best part of it. Late game is all the same when you just go culture, it just comes around to... Okay, this freaking soundtrack's so freaking loud, I had to turn the freaking thing down. Remove that song, it's like so freaking loud, e piercing, holy shit. Okay, um, what I wanted to look at was the city, okay, so yeah, we built this one. It's kind of <laughs> ridiculous. 800 culture per turn. It's not even running culture, it's running wealth. This one's at 950 per turn, holy crap. So this one ended up coming really fast toward the end. And the culture victory, let's see, how many wonders did we actually build? We built the Apostolic Palace, the Spiral Minor, and the Oracle. All of those giving us like a base of 40, and that's quite a lot, like three wonders is enough to go to culture victory by like 1700 with... That's a lot of culture, right? That's that's 40 culture per turn just from that and you know that adds up because if you didn't have that 
everything else is like not even 40. Let's say you've got like four, five, 10, that's 15. It's like not even close to, uh, yeah, maybe with the madrasa, it's like about 35 or something. I don't know, I'm not gonna math it, but just having three wonders in there effectively doubles the culture output. Even just having mausoleum by itself adds 20 to whatever else we have in here, which, I mean, I built the Globe Theater in Heroic Epic t to give an extra 10 as well. That kind of chipped in a lot. Only 80 from buildings though. So the mausoleum is a quarter of my culture's culture output in the city. I only started running specialists towards the end. We weren't running specialists, so you don't really account the specialist culture because that's not constant. That was only there at the very end. When I, when I built all my infrastructure and I just started running culture, I just ran specialists instead of hammers because it's better. So having those early wonders before like 1 AD really make a difference because you get double culture after a thousand years, okay? So if you build those wonders about a thousand AD or like 500 AD even, you won't really get the double culture. But if you build them before like 1 AD, then by 1000 AD, you know, you still got a lot left in the game at 1000 AD. It's only like halfway maybe. So, and if you're getting the double culture, it's it's a really big deal. Let's have a look. When did we build Muslim? I think I built it kind of late. Might not have actually. I don't know. Where is it? Uh, it's actually a pretty good mausoleum date, all things considered. So no, that's a, that's a good mausoleum date. And by 1050 AD, that was generating double culture. So I didn't even have all my buildings towards the end. But yeah, like those wonders, base culture gets multiplied by the 300% thing. You see here, base culture 129 multiplied by 300% and, and then another 100% from civics. Turns out to be 650 total. Anyway, it's wonders that really make it a lot. You see here, this one is insane. It's got a base culture of 272. So I didn't even try in this one. I haven't even built stupas and pagodas and stuff in here properly. Because it doesn't matter. This one was going to be legendary no matter what. This one got legendary ages ago. This one we also tried a little harder in. Got the 300% from buildings. Which is a lot, actually. That means I built six of those things in it, does it? Yeah, so we built the one... We've got the cathedral, we've got the mosque, we've got the mandia, we've got the stupa, the academy, and the pagoda. That's crazy. So if you build all six of them, that's like six out of the seven. I think I was only missing one in those cities. One, two, three, four, five. Which, which one are we missing? Judaism. That's because this idiot held Judaism all to himself and I never got a Jewish city. I have it here, but idiot never friggin' spread it to me, so yeah, there you go. Anyway, I think that was a good culture game. It's more realistic when you actually have some wars and fighting in it, rather than just relying on the AI to not attack you. So, I hope you enjoyed that, and ignore my inting at the end there. That's the true int, that's how you feed. That's okay, we're just messing around. Um, yeah. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Till then.